Hey, what's up? This is Thess One. I'm from the group People Under the Stairs and a couple of other things. I do lots of stuff. Uh, producer, rapper, tour guy, musician, engineer, etc., etc., etc. I'm here on 88tellinfinity.com. We're out here in Salt Lake City hanging out. We got a show night at the Urban Lounge and, uh, you know, talk, talk about some stuff. If they be quiet, it'll be awesome. <laughs> Mike makes beats and I make beats and what we usually do is we come together and we just kind of listen to everything that we have. Um, see what kind of vibe it gives us and then we write a song and because I do all the engineering it's just a matter of taking those that framework and turning it into a song and sometimes we have people play on it and other times we don't um, so you know it's just kind of the role that we fall into I guess you know in every group Double K is always the DJ he always does all the cuts on everything there'll never be another uh, we look at our entire career our entire catalog as being one big album kind of and when all is said and done, it's basically going to tell the story of two guys who grew up in L.A. and traveled the world and did a lot of crazy stuff. So every album is, is just kind of a bookmark in our life. And, uh, you know, our first album, we were too young to buy beer. And now we're much older than that, you know. But there's still a lot more to say, for sure. Um, I think the, the wonderful thing about hip-hop is that we're not really tied to having the conventional song structure stuff, we can make a song about pretty much anything. So for us, the vibe of the song, the vibe of the music really conveys what we're trying to get across. A lot of classic hip hop songs really aren't about much of anything, and uh, and they're great. You know, like a lot of like Biz Marquis songs or whatever, they're just like, what? You know, just party, have a good time. And that's kind of what we view our role as. We want to be like the, the newer Beastie Boys. You know, we just want to, want to bring the party and convey what we're trying to do and make sure everyone has a good time. Man. Just, there's so many albums. I mean, one of the things that Double K and I, you know, pride ourselves on is our knowledge of music. And we collect a lot of records, so we've heard a lot of music. And I think we've probably taken a lot away from a lot of music. Um, and not just hip-hop. You know, hip-hop would be the least of which. Uh, mostly, you know, rock records, soul records, jazz records. We've taken a lot away from everything. And we look up to a lot of, a lot of acts, you know. People... People like everyone from Michael McDonald and MGMT to Led Zeppelin and the Beatles and all of that sort of stuff is what's going through our heads when we get in there and make a record. We're not trying to make a record that fits into hip hop. We don't care. We want to make a record that fits into the broader narrative of music in America. That's kind of what we want to be, you know. I think it would be awesome if we could exhume James Brown and get all of the original JBs from like 1971, including like Bootsy Collins on the bass have that as the production backing band and then maybe like people are stairs and maybe we'll put like ODB on there just for like to have him like wilding out and then maybe like Rock Kim and Big Daddy Kane and us and uh, it would be called um, Faded and we would just get James Brown really faded and we would let him produce the album. It's been a crazy run. I know that, you know, we were just talking about the fact that when we started out, someone asked us in, a, in, a, in an interview, they said, what were your expectations for people on stairs? And we said, we didn't have any. We just were making music. And then one thing leads to another, and then next thing I know, you know, we've got all these crazy things that we've done. Like, next thing I know, we're on The Simpsons. Or we're, you know, at Bonnaroo, closing the night. Or we're at Coachella. Or we're, you know, recording with George Clinton. Or just, or we're in Africa or in China. And like... If I, I can't stop because I feel like if I were to wake up one morning and say, okay, that's it, we had a good run, we're going to stop, then I'm addicted to the possibility of someone calling me the next day and saying, hey, guess what, so-and-so, what? you know, like, because I remember the day that someone called me and said, guess what, you guys going to be on The Simpsons, you know, and I just live for that moment of the, the guess what, you know, this year, and we're working on another album. And we have lots of projects in the works. And we're working on a pilot right now for a TV show, Mike, the Mike and Chris show, which is going to be kind of like the hip-hop Beavis and Butthead mixed with skit comedy. And uh, so look out for that because it's going to be awesome, really funny. If you think we're funny, it'll be funny. If you don't think we're funny, and a lot of people in hip-hop don't think we're funny at all. They think they hate us, but, you know, they won't like it. But the Mike and Chris show is going to be funny, so look out for that. Going to have the Curtis Blow Magic show, all sorts of cool stuff. I mean, like me personally, and I'm sure Double, I know Double K feels the same way. Uh, 
I really, you know, whoever's watching this, if anyone is watching this and they're one of the people that have been a fan or consider themselves a fan, or one of the people that's played our music for somebody else, or bought an album, or come to a show, uh, just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, you know. We, we never thought that it would even get this far. And uh, we're really humbled to be in this position. And uh, we feel indebted to all you guys out there. So we're going to keep making music, keep making videos, and having fun, you know. I'm trying to get a, trying to get a laugh out of this. Hip hop's too serious. So I just want to make mental note that while we're doing this interview, like all these old ladies and old people are coming in to drink wine, and I might stay here and drink with them. I just might. So, so you know, viewer, what was happening. It's crazy.